claim against Lakeville Village Apartments. And I'm gonna swear you both in, but if I understand correctly, you're asking for your deposit back. The position of the Lakeville Village, Village Apartments is um, this deposit just went to cover a last month's rent. And if I'm wrong about any of that, then I'm gonna invite both of you to correct me. So Ms. Lane, could you unmute yourself, please? I still can't hear you. There you go. Try it now. Your Honor, that was not my last month's rent. That was a... okay, ma'am. I'm going to stop you, please. Uh, could you raise your right hand, please? Yes, sir. You swear and affirm the information and testimony you provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, I do. Okay, so you can put your hand down. So go ahead and take it from the top, then, and just tell tell me why you believe the Lake Lakeview Village Apartments owes you nine hundred dollars. Your Honor. I gave my written notice on her desk um, when she submitted that uh, reasonable accommodation request. Um, okay. I, I printed on a card that I would be moving August 31st, 2022, and, and she tried to uh, provide a, a late uh, reasonable accommodation request. The request, Your Honor, was for a refrigerator that fit the kitchen. The refrigerator in the kitchen, the door would not open wide enough to access the produce drawer. I completed the terms of my lease. I asked for a refrigerator which fit the size of the kitchen, and and I did not receive that. The reasonable accommodation request was denied, and honestly, I just wanted them to place a refrigerator in there that was properly fitted for the kitchen. I gave my notice. I completed the terms of my lease contract. Um, and I deserve my deposit back. I left my apartment in beautiful condition. I don't understand why she kept, why she charged me rent for September at all. It makes no logical sense to me. She refused to, to go through the checkout okay, process. Okay, so ma'am, when, me. what day did you give your notice? I gave my notice when I paid rent in the- no, end A of date, ma'am. The date, what date? The date. The date was uh, July thirty first. And when did you move out? I moved out September, August, uh, August thirty first. I walked through September first to show her the empty, clean apartment. Uh, okay, so let me, um, Ms. Um, what's your name, ma'am, from the Lakeview Village Apartments? Liana. Okay, could you raise your right hand, please? Do you swear and affirm the information and testimony you provide will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Um, I'll hear from you. The card that I have received from Ms. Lane as is here. I received through the night rent drop box on September 4th. Um, that was not legal proper notice. The encounter that I had with Ms. Lane after denying her reasonable accommodation was three days prior to the end of the month where she had stopped me in the parking lot and told me she would be moving. I notified her that that is not legal notice and that if she is going to be turning in her keys at that time, that she would still be obligated for the following month's rent, as is also stated in her signed lease agreement. So you're saying then that she owes for September? Correct. Uh, and then, so you gave your yeah. honor. So, ma'am, coming back to you there, Ms. Lane. Um, yes. She's saying she didn't get notice on. You said you gave notice on July thirty first. Your honor, I was. She says she didn't get notice message. till September. So, ma'am, please wait till I'm done to ask my question before you answer it. Your honor. Yes. Go ahead. Um, I received a message from Lakeview Village says, hello, Patricia, I'm sorry to hear our inability to overrule Washington state laws regarding reasonable accommodation is a deciding factor for you to leave us. Please let me know if there's anything further I can do. I felt I had received confirmation that she knew that I was leaving. This confirmation was given um, the beginning of August um, from Okay, so I see, I hear someone in the background, ma'am. I'm, I'm not sure who that is, but if someone's, you know, I need to hear testimony either from you or if you want to call witnesses, you can have that person testify, but I need to be able to hear from you, okay? 
Yes, Your Honor. Because when someone's talking at you like that, that that affects my ability to listen to you, to what you're saying. If my you have apologies. witnesses you wish to have testify, that's fine. We can call them. I'll, I'll hear from them. No, my apologies, okay. sir. I, I felt that I had received confirmation. Um, no, but what about the, the notice? I, I, I saw that, but the, the notice. That I mean, notice a copy was of the... not the notice. I'm, I apologize. I'm listening. I need to see the, the, you said you gave notice on July 31st. She's saying we didn't get that. We didn't get any sort of notice until she ran into you a parking lot or on, um, you know, some card that was sent on September 4th, I believe. Is that correct there? Yes, no, that is. So did you, do you have, did you give a written notice on July 31st? I did. Do you have a copy of it? I do not. Your Honor, she did not allow me, uh, she did not provide me with a new lease when I requested a new lease. She did not allow me the checkout process when I when I let her know that I was leaving to give my notice. She, When I let her know that, you know, I was ready to complete those forms, she refused to provide them for me, stating that it was not good enough that I give my daughter's forwarding address as as part of my her move out process, I was determined so say, to say leave. that again. Say that again, ma'am. I I went to her office. I asked to go through the checkout process, and she refused to provide me all that or a new lease. Um, honestly, she she refused to check me out because I did not have a new lease in place to give her a forwarding address. I offered to give her my daughter's address as a forwarding address. And she, she stated that that was not good enough for her. So when I asked for a, a new lease, she did not provide it. When I asked for it to go through the checkout process, she did not allow that because she said that she needed my new address. And I said, all that I had to give her at that time was my daughter's as a forwarding address. What day did this take? I don't I don't understand that. I mean, I don't. Um, but again, what I'm asking is I need to see some sort of, you know, a lot of times people keep copies of it. They should. Um, if you're going to give a notice that you're moving out, I, that's that's what I want to see. Well, I don't have that. I do have confirmation that she in in early August that she knew that I, that uh, she was sorry to hear that I was leaving. I accepted that as confirmation that she knew that I was no longer going to be living at Lakeview Village. The message okay, from so Lakeview Village states clearly, I'm sorry our inability to overrule working state laws regarding uh, reasonable accommodation is a deciding factor to leave us. When I provided my notice, it was on a simple business card at her desk when I requested the reasonable accommodation of a smaller refrigerator that would open well enough to be able to access the produce store. The building at the time when I moved out, I felt I fled. I had no light above my doorway. The building is under construction and I just had to go. Um, How honestly, long did you live there, ma'am? I lived there for the full term of my lease, one full year plus several weeks. I completed the term of my lease. I gave my notice. She refused to check me out. She refused to provide me a new lease. I was in a very difficult situation. I was not receiving the refrigerator I needed that would actually open, the door would open wide enough for me to be able to access the produce store was what I was requesting from Lakeview Village, which honestly didn't seem too much under construction, which was a dangerous situation. No light at my door. I completed the terms of my lease. It expired. My lease it, expired. You, ma'am, from the, you know, I have what I was looking for. I said, hello, Patricia. I'm sorry to hear our inability to overrule Washington state laws regarding reasonable accommodation is a deciding factor in your decision to leave us. When did you send that? I'd have to go back and check the email. She had stated in a prior email that she would be seeking another apartment if we did not approve this reasonable accommodation. So at I that see. point, that was an, I understand you will be looking for something else, but that was 
does not constitute a notice that she intended to vacate. Got it. Uh, but do you, when did you, when was that sent? Um, I believe that was in August. What about the refrigerator? What's what's the story on that? So it's a standard 15 cubic foot apartment sized refrigerator in the home. I affectionately refer to as my one bedroom, my one bedroom apartment kitchens as a one butt kitchen. They are very small. Um, at the time of her move in, I had even suggested that many people tend to turn them sideways so that the door opens out into more so the dining space than into the kitchen. Um, it just tends to work better for a lot of people. And unfortunately, um, she didn't like that answer. Okay. So ma'am, uh, Ms. Lane, yes. uh, so you're the plaintiff in this case as, yes, I am. as a plaintiff, um, you know, you have certain, I guess, responsibilities is the way I'd put it as a burden of proof. In criminal cases, you probably heard the term proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, um, in civil cases, which this is, it's by a preponderance of the evidence. Is it more likely than not? And, um, you know, if you fail to meet that burden, then it's a verdict in favor um, of the defendant. And that's kind of where I'm coming down on this, uh, on this case as well. You know, uh, that's why if you're going to give a notice of, of something of that sort, it's a good idea to keep a copy of it. And that's why when people serve stuff, you, they when we get serve, proof of service, they need to have uh, proof of service filed in the, in the court. And, um, you know, if you need to show that you gave notice, you need to you need to keep a copy of the notice that you have given. So I will find that I'm I'm not convinced by preponderance of the evidence that appropriate notice was given. And so I'll find for the defense. And so um, this case will be dismissed. Your no. Honor, yes. When I requested the checkout notice mm -hmm. to go through the checkout process with Ms. Sheely in her office at Lakeview Village, she refused to do so. Your Honor, when I requested a new lease with Lakeview Village, she she did not provide me one. All I could do was print on a piece of paper and set on her desk that I was leaving the confirmation. Um, it was clear. I completed the terms of my lease. I left the apartment in beautiful condition. That was, a, I fled from a dangerous situation. There was no light above my stairway to enter and exit the building. I, I had to leave. I had no choice. I did my best to give her notice. I gave, I spoke with her in June. I spoke with her in July. In July, I left a note on her desk stating clearly that I would leave. In August, same thing. She, she denied a reasonable accommodation, which was her way of dealing with the fact that the refrigerator in the kitchen was not fully accessible um, she she left that to my condition. Um, she requested that a doctor fill out information and send to her for a reasonable accommodation. Honestly, I was not treated very well by Lakeview Village, and I feel I deserve my deposit back. I completed the terms of my lease. I spoke with the manager in office and, and gave written notice on her desk on a piece of paper because she would not go through the checkout process with me. I am beside myself, you know, I'm trying to prove to you right. that she and knew I, I was leaving, that I did my yeah. best to do the, the checkout process with her. She was not cooperative and, and the building was in, I felt that it was not fair to stay in a place. I felt like I need to immediately leave, but there's no light above my door to light the stairway, the 14 cement stairs to my front door. I fled. Okay. So ma'am, again, that's my decision. I'm gonna stick with my decision and that'll conclude the case here today. If you wish to appeal this, you can, but that, that's what I'm gonna do here today. 
I don't feel this is fair. I'd like to. I, I understand. I clearly, I do understand that, but that's that's the decision I'm making here today. And you and, and uh, the representative from the Lakewood Village, you're free to leave the Zoom call there. Thank you, yeah, well, Your Honor. Have a nice day. Your Honor? Yes? I feel this is an unfair decision. I, I do I do understand you feel that way, ma'am. I do. And you're free to leave the Zoom call. How honorable is that, Judge? I wonder.